Hello YouTube, Welsh Gamer here, the Welsh Gamer is speaking, home of the Dragon X podcast for my buddies Eroc X and Microbox of X. And as always, their channel links are in the description below. Be sure to check them out, drop a sub, they are great channels and together we are the Dragon X. There's a reason I have them as my partners on the Dragon X podcast. And remember to hit that bell, bell icon down below to stay up to date whenever I make a video. Right. This is a video that I'm genuinely really, really, really pleased to be making. Um, it's quite nice as um, a gamer uh, to hear this uh, come to the forefront. Um, being as I'm one of the uh, many YouTubers that called Sony out, not just once, not twice, but a numerous amount of times on their anti-gamer, anti-consumerism, uh, you know, mentality. And uh, it's nice to see that something has come of the outcry that was them denying for uh, Fortnite crossplay as well as locking accounts and all sorts um so you know even though Fortnite isn't the first game that they've denied uh, being that it is easily the most popular of all the games that they've denied um it, it's no surprise that they've had to come forward with a statement now this is sony we're talking about ladies and gentlemen so take their statement with a pinch of salt I, I'm not completely convinced that they're actually going to do anything about it. This could be just PR, just to keep, uh, you know, keep smiles on people's faces until this, like, this storm sort of blows over. So my advice would be keep, keep on at Sony. Don't just listen to their little bit of bullshit that they've said in this article, you know, this article quotes, and just, ex you know, and just like forget about it and expect them to actually. Um, go back on what they've you know been doing, which is denying crossplay. Um, but basically, uh, the the heading reads: Sony is looking at a lot of possibilities. Just to repeat, looking at a lot of possibilities. Already, I see red flags because there is no possibilities. There's no looking into it. Crossplay is available. It is there. I mean, hell. If the Nintendo Switch can do it, I damn sure know for a fact that Sony could do it with, you know, today if they really wanted to. So, like I said, take it with a pinch of salt. But the fact that they are, you know, not just, you know, hiding behind their Twitter accounts and their bloody, you know, hiding behind their slogans and all that and their advertisement, they're actually, they've actually come out and said something. So that's a first. Like, I'll give them kudos for that. But yeah, they're looking at a lot of possibilities regarding cross-play, cross-platform play. Subheading reads: Sony offers the first indication it may be willing to change its stance on cross-platform play. Now, like I said, guys, red flag already. The fact that they're looking at possibilities kind of says to me that they're just trying to appease the cry the outcry. Like, oh, don't worry, we hear you. We, we, you know, we're gonna do something. We'll look into it. Makes you know Sony like try and make themselves out to be this like you know really considerate corporation when really deep down they're probably not going to. But playing devil's advocate and reading it as I see it, assuming that they are actually going to listen for once and and you know you know walk the walk as they have talked the talk, being for the players. Let's just go ahead with the article and see what it says. So the article reads, Sony has been alone, <coughs> been the lone holdout for cross-platform play, a position that has become more and more unattendable for them, uh, for them as more and more high-profile games, such as Rocket League, Minecraft, Paladins, and Fortnite, not to mention Tekken, um, uh, have become fully cross-play platform, uh, including between rivals, console Switch, and the Xbox One. It's a situation that has come head to head with the launch of Fortnite on the Switch, which makes sense given that it is the most popular game in the world at the moment. Um, again, like I said at the beginning, this is why I think that so many have actually come forward because this is the first game that's like absolutely really high profile that is easily the most popular multiplayer at the moment that people want to see crossplay on. So if they did ignore this, they'd have been absolute idiots because it would not have helped their case at all. Um, but to continue, it says, Sony's response to the whole controversy has been flaccid and limp. First, making a lame excuse about cross-platform play not being safe for children. Last year, and then completely sidestepping the issue with their response to the controversy this year. However, now, in a new response by SIE America's head, Sean Layden, 
um, Sony Interactive Entertainment America's lead uh, head Sean Layden, we get that what may be their most honest response to the situation so far. Just a touch, right? Because this article failed to mention this as well. Um, one of their excuses was crossplay isn't safe for children, which is bollocks. If that's how you feel, then you know, t close close PlayStation Network right now because it's, if if what you're saying is true. It is just as unsafe to be on PlayStation Network as it would ever be on cross-platform. So that's bullshit to the highest degree. I don't believe that whatsoever. I think that is a pathetic excuse. But one of the other excuses they failed to mention was that um, they want to protect their user base. Now, like Microbox of X has touched on in the past, they certainly didn't care about how you were protected last generation and this generation when people's accounts were hacked, people's details were being taken. You know, that is why you are charged now for PlayStation Network because all the all the abuse Xbox got last year uh, for charging you for uh, Xbox Live, it was because you were behind a... Uh, you were, you were being protected. Behind that paywall, you were being protected. Your, protect, your details were protected, your personal details, everything. But they, they have said in the past that the reason they don't want to do crossplay is to protect their network, protect their players. Also, they didn't want to um, affect, you know, sales and business and all that, which is probably the most honest. Speaking of honesty, that is probably the most honest uh, response you'll ever get from Sony, as they are for their wallets, not for the players. Um, <clears throat> but this is their quote now from Leiden. We are hearing you. We are hearing it. We're looking at a lot of possibilities. You can imagine that the circumstances around that affect a lot more than just one game. I'm confident we'll go to go, get to a solution which will be understood and accepted by our own gaming community, while at the same time supporting our business. Right, just to get on this, basically like I said, looking at possibilities. I can debunk that right now, that there's no looking at any possibilities. If they wanted to do it, they could do it today, they could do it tomorrow, they could, they could do it. It is, it'll be, it'd be the flick of a switch. Xbox and, Switch, and Nintendo Switch are doing it, so there's no excuse. Um, but here <coughs> it says, "I'm confident we'll be we'll get to a solution which will be understood and accepted by our gaming community, while at the same time supporting our business." Now that says to me once again that the oh, and Microbox of X once again, big shout out to you, dude, because he said it in the Dragon X podcast that we that we did last Thursday. But that that sentence there says to me. We'll find a solution that will be understood and accepted by our gaming community while at the same time supporting our business. That basically in a nutshell says to me that they are not going to perform cross-play on their platform unless they can charge you for it. So that is going to more than likely be their compromise if they in fact go ahead with it. That if you want to do cross-play that it will be behind some kind of paywall. Now that's my speculation from what I'm reading. That's how I read it. That's how I read that quote, so don't take my word for it. I'm just saying that knowing Sony, knowing their business practice, knowing how they work, being a you know being a gamer and a YouTuber who's been following the industry for years now and reads up on these things and following the same pattern we've seen, it makes the most sense that that's what they're getting at. <clears throat> so on one hand, it's a positive because at least PlayStation gamers, as long as they're happy to pay uh, a price, can at least you know get involved with their friends on other platforms but on the other uh, on the other hand it kind of goes against Sony again that they are not in fact for the players as it would not affect them sales wise they're ahead by a huge margin with 80 plus million units sold they're doing very well for themselves granted we all know Sony as a business aren't the most profitable so I get that that comes into play but for the for God's sake like this wouldn't make a difference frankly the more they deny crossplay People who want to play these multi-platform games with other friends are just going to go to other systems that accommodate crossplay. So they will be shooting themselves in the foot. So I don't think they should do this paywall thing if my speculation is in fact correct, but that's how I read it. The article ends by saying Leyden's admission that is about supporting their business is at least honest. I'll give you that, it is at least honest, they could lie, but the fact that they're looking into possibilities kind of set is kind of a big lie already, as we know it's already available. So it's hard to know where you know how truthful what what is Sony's truth. Like I'd love to actually hear them say something a hundred percent truthful, uh, you know. But so it's it's hard to like believe everything I'm reading. But still, I'll give them that and confirm something that very uh, everyone already knew. Sony has no principled position to the idea. 
They are just doing it for business reasons, which is fine, but hopefully they can in fact create a compromise that meets players' needs as well as their own. Like I said, if I had to guess, based on what I just read, their only compromise would be if they can charge you for crossplay. And as so as we know how Sony work, charging you for backward compatibility, charging you for this, charging you for that, it's it's a no-brainer. It's it's more than likely going to be the case. But just to give you my last two cents. I've pretty much boiled down the meat and potatoes that I'm not completely convinced that Sony are for the players. I've made that clear in multiple videos. The fact that they're denying crossplay at all, whether it be for Fortnite or any of the other games I mentioned, is just downright un, un, you know, anti-consumer, anti-gamer. It's, it's certainly not going to do them any favours in the industry. And like I've said before, this generation is coming to a close. We're going to be seeing the Xbox, you know, Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 within the next two years, most probably. Maybe a little bit later, but still. Like, in terms of generations go, we've only got a couple more years or so until these new consoles come out. And PlayStation has, in fact, without a shadow of a doubt this generation, uh, gained a lot of traction, a huge positive step. You know, when you compare it from the PS3 era, they've done wonders. And... The last thing they want to do in a position of strength is create bumps in the road when it comes to ending a generation and beginning a new one. You know, you don't you want it to be a smooth transi transition. You want gamers, whether it be casual or Xbox or PlayStation, uh, you know, fanatics or whatever. You want people to look at PlayStation as a gamer friendly, accommodating system that is with the times and does everything that all the other systems are doing when it concerns like crossplay and you know pro-gamer, pro-consumer moves and decisions in a company. So, I've said it before and I'll say it one more time, they're only shooting themselves in the foot if they don't do this, and I'm not completely convinced that, they are, that they're going to make the right choice, like 100% the right choice, you know, for their player base, but if I read anything positive in that article is that cross-play is probably going to happen with Fortnite, maybe, unless this is just a PR stunt to just you know, aim, aim the sights elsewhere until the storm blows over. But if they do in fact do it, I'm actually my bets that it's going to be behind a paywall. But that's all I can say. That's all I got for you guys. A bit of, not really a rant, just addressing it as I see fit, giving you my opinion, calling it out for what it is. And hopefully, if, if there is any merit to this, Sony have seen the error in their ways. They have realised that they can't just make these stupid decisions and get, you know, and it be unnoticed. Gamers are not happy about it. And they need to start listening to their play, their fan base and games in general far more often. Because they have very much been at the top of their tree, sort of looking down at the peasants of the gaming industry who have been asking for things and they're just not interested. And this is probably one of those times where it's bit them in the ass and hopefully they'll, you know, change things for the better. And I, I'm not even a PlayStation fan. I'm talking for the gaming industry. It's for growth. I like to see growth in the gaming industry. And for people that I know that are PlayStation fans that aren't happy about this, I want to see them get their money's worth. They've bought into an ecosystem. They deserve this. They deserve the cross-play. If everyone else is doing it, there's no excuse. That's all i got for you guys. That's the Welsh Gamer, home of the Dragon X podcast. My buddy Zerok X and Microbox Max. And remember to hit that bell icon down below. Stay up to date whenever I make a video. Take it easy, guys. That's the Welsh Gamer. The Welsh Gamer has spoken.